All right, here's my next uh, engine and boiler. <clears throat> Boiler's a 20 inch diameter. 32 inches tall, just on the boiler. Firebox is 17 inches tall. And the box is uh, 24 square, the firebox. It's got a really nice engine mounted on the back of it. Looks upside down and it is, but that's the way they were in the 1880s. They were designed to uh, run overhead line shafts off this big pulley. That beautiful dog tail. <laughs> it has a really nice uh, flyball governor on it. Very hard to find this size to run my engines. They're all too big. And a really nice swift oiler. I've got these valves open about a half a turn. That's what this one needs to, to oil the engine well. <clears throat> the engine is a three inch bore, four inch stroke. Really nice crank disc on it. Beautiful. Has a AC electric water pump on it. I'll turn it on. Got a little switch that goes with it right here. I want to make sure and keep that cord away from the firebox too. You can hear it running there. Got an airlock valve here in case there's air in the line. Now everything is going into the boiler. You don't want to run it too much because you'll kill the steam. I'll turn it off now. Really nice firebox on it. Kind of hot here. And I've let the fire go down a little bit on it. Tricox right there. Water sight glass. Really nice gauge on it. Whistle. Uh, blow the whistle. Turn down your volume. I'll leave that valve on it because it is leaking out of these. Well, I might tighten these up a little bit more than they are, so that might do it. Anyway, turn down your volume if you don't want it to be too loud. Really nice whistle. Like I say, that dog tail flywheel. Really hard to find them that size and that, that uh, shape. Uh, let's see, so the pop-off valve is set at 100 pounds, it works just fine. I will remove this valve now that I've tested it. It works great. Hash pan is right down here on the bottom of the firebox. It just slides in and out. Boy, what a monster this thing is. It took months to build the engine and the boiler. This valve here is for, um, I was running it on air before I brought it out to fire it up to make sure the engine was running just fine. And by the way, I'll run the engine. So you want to always have the crank disc and the crank rod halfway on it. And uh, It runs beautiful. <clears throat> we could charge a battery bank with it if we just put a, a uh, large V-belt pulley and an alternator on it, I suppose. I machine all the parts. My friend Frank Orr gave me this cylinder, unmachined, and so I machined it, and one for him as well. And I applied it to this, this boiler. Uh, blow down valve is right here, and fill and drain with your hose. I want to 
blow it down once a week or whenever out, depending on how much you use the boiler. I do it every time I run the boiler. <clears throat> the big old flywheel runs real true. Just beautiful. Oh, and the exhaust. The exhaust from the engine goes up the stack. And this, right inside the stack, and it, everything gets exhausted up there, and it increases the draft on the fire. That's another thing. So to drain this, uh, you turn off the steam, and you open this valve and drain the water out. How much water comes out of it is about how much oil you've used. I can kind of show you that pot. Well, I don't have a tool with me to open it. But anyway, you unscrew this with, this with the steam off and uh, open the cap and the water will drain out of the bottom and that's how much oil you've used. And just fill it back up. You put the cap back on and tighten this valve down. And... So steam comes into it and it pressurizes the tank and pushes the oil out through these valves into the engine. Very quiet running engine. Beautiful. So if you want to give me a call about this or any of my engines, my name is Ross Bendixson. My phone number is 206-948-0770. And my email address is anacortisteam. That's A-N-A. C O R T E S S T E A M at gmail.com. And a quarter steam at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. I noticed the fly ball isn't working all the time. The belt is getting uh, loose. So I put a little pressure on it. Maybe I'll put a. Um, a tensioner on it from this bolt I could put a tensioner on it but I can also shorten the belt all right that's it thank you for watching